So statement number 30, and he is the seal of the prophets. So the Prophet ﷺ, Prophet Muhammad is the seal of the prophet. As Allah Azzawajal said, Muhammad is not the father of any one of your men, but he is the messenger of Allah and last of the prophets and ever is Allah of all things. So if anyone claims that he believes in any prophet after the Prophet ﷺ, he's actually contradicting a verse from the Quran. And if anyone contradicts one verse of the Quran, he is outside Islam. So rejects anything in the Quran, he is outside Islam. So we believe that he is the seed of the Prophet. The Prophet said, the similitude of the prophets is that of a palace, which is beautiful and perfect, except that the place of one brick is vacant. Whoever goes around it, meaning that the palace, it is struck by its beauty. He is struck by its beauty. However, he wonders why the palace or the place of one brick is empty. When I was sent, that empty place was filled and the building became complete. With me, the line of the messengers has been sealed. And this is narrated by Al-Bukhari and Muslim. So the completeness that was mentioned is a completeness of quantity and quality. So numbers sealed and the quality sealed. So there is nothing to add after that or to remove from the religion and nothing to add after that from the uh, prophets or messengers or any of that. That's why we spoke last time about some groups who claim that they are Muslims but they are claiming that there are some revivals of Islam that came with new understanding or new interpretation that contradicts some of the Quran, which is not acceptable to be part of Islam. So whatever your level, you must follow. Some people are very uh, educated, very skilled. Some people are uh, just simple and not having lots of knowledge, all the levels, they must believe in that and follow. He also said, I have many names. I am Muhammad. I am Ahmed. I am the wiper. As through me, Allah will wipe kufr. And I am the gatherer. As following me, people will be raised from graves and gathered together. And I am the last, as there will be no prophet after me. So it's clear that we cannot accept anyone to say or to claim that he is a prophet. Muslim reported, Prophet Muhammad said, Among my nation will be arise 30 great liars. Each of them will claim that he is a prophet. However, I am the seal of the prophet and there will be no prophet after me. So the Prophet spoke about 30 false prophets. And in the, in the history, we had lots of them. But there will still come to come people who will claim that. Allah has exalted me above the prophets by favoring me with six things that he did not give to any other prophet. So that will give the level of the Prophet compared to the other prophets. So the Prophet is the top. And we know that the Prophet in the Isra and Mi'raj, he actually prayed as Imam in all the prophets, meaning that he is the leader of all the prophets. He has enabled me to express many things in few words. So the Prophet ﷺ will be speaking a couple of words and people will write books about it. And that's one of the things that the Prophet ﷺ has. He has helped me by casting fear into the hearts of our enemies. You know, in the Battle of Tabuk, the Prophet ﷺ went with the army for one full month walking and the enemy flee, escaped, because they were scared, it's scared. He has allowed me the spoils of war. So after the war, there will be lots of treasures. The only prophet that was allowed to be taking these spoils of war was the Prophet ﷺ. Before, no one was allowed to take. He has permitted me to worship anywhere on the earth, so we can pray anywhere. 
whereas the others before us they had to pray in certain places and has deemed it pure so the earth was claimed for us as pure so we can do tayammum with it and we can pray on it he has sent me as messenger to all mankind all the other prophets and messengers were sent to specific people but the prophet was sent to all mankind and he has sealed the series of prophets with me so this is what we believe about the prophet and these six things are very important to always remember